Welcome everyone. So today we are reading The Great Escape by Jory John and Pete Oswald. Howdy, I am Shell and Egg. How is it going? It's just me today. I am on my own. The other eggs, where are they? Good question. The thing is, sometimes they leave the carton on weekends before the customers arrive. They escape into the store. They call it the Great Escape. Escape, escape. You get it. Me? I am not really in the mood to run around. If you want to know the truth, I'd rather just sit here. I don't mind a little. Me time. No reason to go frolic with everybody else. I prefer adventures of the imagination. It's quite peaceful here without all the other eggs. Sure, there is a part of me that wonders what they are doing. Right? This very moment. I have a few guesses. Right this very moment. Wee! Yay! Oh! We look amazing. So festive. Let's play a game. Everybody pick a good hiding spot. Great idea! Shell will have to come find us. He won't know where we are. I am behind the tomato. I am next to the avocados. I am blending in the potatoes. Ha ha ha! What's so funny about that? Being a potato is serious business. Ah, this is life. When you live in a garden with lots of roommates, you never get much peace and quiet. So, I am going to enjoy this while it lasts. Exactly 2 hours, 36 minutes and 20 seconds later. Hmm, nobody is back yet. Where are Clegg and Meg and Peg and Egbert and Greg and Shelby and Shelley and Sheldon and Frank and other Frank? Did I forget anybody? Anyways, they should have been home by now. These great escapes are usually over by lunch when everybody gets hungry. I will just wait a few more minutes. They will surely be home quite soon. No reason to stress. No reason to pace. No reason to get all worked up. Okay, now I'm getting nervous. Noon! It's noon! Morning is officially over! So where are my friends? Are they okay? Should I go look for them? But what if they come home while I'm away? I just don't know what to do. Meanwhile... <laughs> I must find them. Where do I start? Maybe in aisle 1? That seems promising. Pickles, 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 it's all pickles, sheesh. Wait, Greg, is that you? What are you doing by those pickles? And why are you painted like a galaxy in outer space? I am hiding. But why? Why not? Well, I found you. Indeed you did, Chell. Indeed you did. Shall we look for the others? Indeed. Found you. Found you. There you are. Found you. Is that everybody? Line up eggs. Let's see. We have you and 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 you. That's 10 eggs plus me which equals 11. Hmm. Wait just a minute. Where's Meg? Has anybody seen Meg? Meg! Wait, where are you guys going? To get some lunch, Elle. Then maybe take a nap. Hide and seek is tiring. Meg will turn up eventually. She always does. Eggs, halt. As the old one saying goes, If a fellow egg is hiding, we must look until we find them. Or maybe that's a new thing. Anyway, we are not finished until we are all back together as a dozen. Got it? Good. Let's go. Greg searched the high shelves. Peg checked the low shelves. Clegg, don't forget the middle shelves. Sheldon, look through that bag of marshmallows. Shelby, comb aisle 5. Egbert, investigate aisle 6. Me, 
I'll scour the discount aisle. Meg has got to be around here somewhere. Shell, Shell, I found a note by the cash register. It might be a clue. Well, read it, Greg. Okay, okay, you don't have to yell. If you want to find an egg just like a pot of gold, go where things are sold in bulk and look for something bold. It was a clue, Shell. I mean, it's a clue. Indeed, Greg, indeed. Hmm, bulk, bold bulk. Bold bulk. Wait, I think I've got it. Follow me, X, to the bulk bin aisle onward. Wow, there are just so many bins. But which one is the right one? How would we know? Hmm, Shell, remember how the clue said to look for something bold? Do you think Meg is hiding in there? Of course, Peg. X, shoulder stack, unite. Knock, knock. We know you are in there, Meg. Oh, hi. I thought you were never going to find me. Nice work, Shell. Glad you find your way out of the cotton for once and into the world. Thanks, Meg. But it wasn't just me. We found you as a group. And now we are back together again. Phew. You know, looking for eggs is fun. Finding eggs is more fun. But the most fun of all, a chance to frolic with your friends. Say, when's the next great escape? Shall we do this again tomorrow? Indeed, we shall, shall. So this was the story, everyone. Thank you.